Welcome to stage five of the gauntlet. You are here to win this. One sealed draft booster box of Commander Legends. But before we can declare who takes that wonderful prize home, we have to find out who accurately predicts the total value of every rare, mythic rare, foil, and box topper from these lovelies right here. That is four packs of Double Masters, four packs of Commander Legends, one Double Master box topper, one Ikoria box topper, and six Zendikar Rising box toppers. It's all about to come to fruition, everyone. Everyone's hard work is about to pay off in spades. Let us set the stage. This is how we're going to do it. There we go. One, two, three. Me at a Commander Legend. And then an Ikoria. Double Masters. Box Topper. There we go. That's the bounty. Eight booster packs. Eight box toppers. So now let's run through every single participant's prediction. Eric R, $127. Zephyr, $310. 1991 Losa, $319.91. Pablo de Guizamon, $361. Pablo Soto Power, $402.40. Schmoopy's Forever Smith, $428.36. Matt Becker, $436.65. Dobby, 092, $441. Neil Arnold, $451.35. Archangel Elf, $490. Optima Rocks, $500. Dom Bookie, $514.38. And our 13th and last participant in the gauntlet, G Unki, at $588.57. Now let's get cracking. All right, here we go. Good luck to all of our Baker's Dozen of participants remaining in the gauntlet. We begin with one pack of Commander Legends. We are looking at rares, mythic rares, and foils. And in Commander Legends, it is possible to get four rare or mythic rares in one pack. All right, here we go. Pack one. We slide through the commons. All right, on common one, on common two, the first rare or mythic in this event is going to be a training center. So right away, we're already dabbling into the real estate that we just love so much. One training center and a second rare of Gore Maldrak and Thinologist and a third rare of Hans Ericsson. Will we do a fourth one and the foil common of Defiant Salvager? So just like that, the first pack of Commander Legends yields four goodies. And we're going to start from bottom to top, folks. And we're going to start things off with a two cent foil common. Hans Eriksson will come in at 17 cents, moving the total up to 19 cents. And Gore's going to come in at 11 cents, moving us up to 30. 
And Training Center will come in at $6.93. So with our first pack of Commander Legends that yielded four cards and a total of $7.23. And now we continue with our first box topper. We have a Zendikar Rising box topper. Let us carefully open this baby up. Alright, there we go. Come on, come on, careful. There, there we go. Alright. Our first box topper. And it is going to be Wind Swept Heath. So we pull a fetch in our first box topper and a rare land in our first pack. This is classic MTG burgeoning rewards video, baby. And our Selesnia fetch land is going to come in at $31.63. That will bring up our aggregate total to $38.86. All right, folks, $38.86. And now our first pack of Double Masters. Four cards are going to get priced in this pack. Two foils and two mythic or rare cards. Let's see what we get. All right, uncommon, uncommon. All right, here we go. The first rare or mythic in our first pack of Double Masters is going to be a Time Sieve. And number two will be a Venge Vine. So we do pull a mythic. How about those foils? We have a foil common of Fairy Mechanist and a foil common of Death Hood Cobra. All right, just like the Commander Legends pack from top to bottom. And our first foil is going to come in at three cents, taking us ever so closer to the $39 mark. And foil common number two will come in at six cents, putting us at $38.95. And our mythic rare of Vengevine comes in at $11.69, according to TCG player market price at the moment of this opening, which takes our grand total up to $50.64. And the last rare of this Double Masters pack comes in at $1.57, which will bring our total to $52.21. All right, folks, and now it's time for another Zendikar Rising box topper. Ooh, baby. Oh, can we get another great hit like the first one? Or does the magic, do the magic gods and the queen of slivers have other things in store for us? We're about to find out. All right. Expedition number two is going to be Black Cleave Cliff. So we have a Rakdos Fastland as our second Zendikar box topper. And our second Zendikar Rising Expedition has brought our grand total up to $69.88. We are one quarter of the way through Stage 5. And next up is our second Commander Legends Booster Pack. All right, that last, that first one, gave us four cards to our pool. Wow, that was something else. Let's see if we can't make it another four. Here we go, folks. Rares, Mythic Rares, Foils. Bring them all to us. Ooh, Arcane Signet. Very nice. Thank you. The rare mythic is going to be, oh, it's a Hall Breacher. Oh, baby, the spice continues. Behind the Hall Breacher, we have a copy of Tiara, which is an uncommon, so she will not make it. And we have Quain, who will make it. And our foil is going to be a foil common of the Valakut Invoker. And you know the drill, folks. It's top to bottom, I'm sorry, bottom to top. And our foil common will put us three cents closer to the $70 mark. Queen comes in at 20 cents, putting us up to $70 and 11 cents. And Hall Breacher is coming in at just under $24, which will bring our grand total up to $94.04. All right, and now it is time for expedition number three. Number one was a fetch land. Number two was a fast land. 
what will number three have in store for us? Well, it is another fetch. Will you look at that? Fetch land number two, Wooded Foothills. And the Zendikar Rising Expeditions are absolutely bringing the heat, baby. And our most valuable hit of the day so far, nearly, or actually a little bit more than half of our aggregate total, the Wooded Foothills comes in at $47.52, thrusting us forward to the $141.56 mark. All right, and now it's time for Double Masters number two. This is going to add another four cards to our total. What those cards will be... We're about to find out. All right, here we go. We're speeding through these commons, baby. Unco Ooh, crop rotation. All right, ooh, basalt monolith, very nice. All right, rare or mythic number one of Double Masters Pet 2 is a Vexing Shusher. Thank you for showing up straight from Shadowmoor. And number two is Greater Good. All right, solid enchantment there. Foil number one, a foil common of Cathartic Reunion, followed by a foil common of Bone Picker. All right, from bottom to top. Wow, that, that's a pretty valuable foil comment from Double Masters. 21 cents. Holy mackerel. All right, let's check out Cathartic Reunion. Not to be outdone, Cathartic Union is, what's up, Bone Picker? I'm at 22 cents, and you're only at 21. Now let's check out Greater Good. Greater Good comes in at a thin. That's five more dollars. Now let's check out the shushing one. And Vexing Shusher sh 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 is going to come in at $4.90, pushing us over the $150 mark as we near the halfway point of Stage 5. Next up, one Ecoria Lair of Behemoth's Box Topper. And this baby is going to be foil. This is going to be our only foil box topper of this event because they are not foiled in Zendikar Rising or Double Masters. So what are we going to unleash here? One Ikoria box topper. Here we go. Bah, Dorat. I'm sorry, Dorat. The perfect pet. That is some nice foiling right there, I'll tell you. Wow. All right, one Ikoria Dorat box topper. And our little fairy dragon that could will come in at $6.17, nudging us ever so closer to the $200 mark. All right, one half completed. The next half is about to start with Commander Legends pack number three. All right, we have had some pretty good success with Commander Legends so far. A training center, a hall breacher. What did we get? Seven out of a possible eight total cards? Wonderful. Let's see what pack three has in store for us, Burgeonites. All right, command tower, nice. All right, uncommon one, uncommon two. And the rare or mythic in our pack is going to be, oh, it's a mythic and it's Commander's Plate and Commander Legends delivers again. Is there another rare behind it? There is not. Is there a rare behind Isior? There is not. And what is our foil? It is a very, very dark foil. Jeez, they really didn't skimp on the shading here. One foil intangible virtue. All right, folks, from bottom to top. Our foil uncommon comes in at 21 cents. Now it's time for that wonderful commander's plate. And our commander's plate is going to come in at 1268, bringing us up to a total of 169.95. All right, next up is a Zendikar Rising box topper. Will the heat continue? Two out of three have been fetches? I think it can. I think it can keep coming. Let's do it, baby. Come on. Let's bring another fetchy. Or something better, perhaps. A Celestial Colonnade. Not necessarily better than a fetchy. Oh. All right, one Celestial Colonnade. All right, and so far our lowest valued Zendikar Rising Expedition will add $6.62 to our total, 
bringing us up to 176.57. And now it's time for our third pack of Double Masters. Will we get any biggins here? We're adding four to the pool, folks. We are adding four. But which four are they going to be? Ah, oh, baby. Ooh, Mishra's Bobble. All right, here we go. Rare or Mythic number one is... Ooh, sort of... Oh, up the meek. Oh, I thought it was one of the Mythic Swords. Oh! Swerve, swerve. Oh, sort of the meek. And Endless Atlas. And the first foil is Volshock Gauntlets. And the second one is Mearsmith. Oh, I think we're swinging and missing on this pack. Let's go. Bottom to top, the foil Mearsmith comes in at a hot dime. The Volshock Gauntlets coming in at six cents. Endless Atlas will push us close to the $180 mark. While Sword of the Meek will get us over that $180 hump. All right, next up we have a Zendikar Rising Box Topper. Now, the last one we opened, that one hurt us a little bit. So far, we are two for four with fetches. Let's see if our luck can make that go to three out of five. Come on, baby, from 52. Ooh, Horizon Canopy, all right. We will definitely take a Horizon Land, the original Horizon Canopy. And our fifth Zendikar Rising Box Hopper will put us over the $200 mark. And we are getting closer and closer to finding out who will claim victory over the gauntlet. And here we go, our last pack of Commander Legends. I'm not sure that we can I mean, reasonably expect it to continue at its current pace. But hey, if the Gods of Magic and our Queen of Slivers will it to be... We will accept it with arms wide open. All right, here we go. The rare or mythic in this pack is Zot's Will. That's our rare. And we have an uncommon followed by another rare of Nemris and a foil common of Lisa Lana Bowmaster. All right, from bottom to top. Our foil common is going to add nine cents to the pot. Now let's check out our first of two rares. And Una's Twix Trickster, that is, will come in at 20 cents. Now let's check out Zot's Will. Zot's Will comes in at 41 cents, and we move closer and closer to the end of our event. All right, and we are down to our last Zendikar Rising box topper. This is number six of six. Two fetches. A fast land a um, man land and a horizon land. What will be in store for this one? Well, let's find out. Dark Slick Shores, Fast Land number two. This one of the Demir influence. And our last expedition comes in at a shade under $12, which will push our total to $218 and 39 cents and we're down to one pack of double masters and one double masters box topper i sensed it would come down to the very last end it almost always does the suspense is there folks the suspense is real we're about to add four cards to the pool what are those cards going to be and how much influence are we going to see change that total all right, here we go. The first rare mythic is Pure Steel Paladin. The second one is Tempered Steel. The first foil is Crib Swap. And the second foil is Buried Ruin. All right, that should most likely not push the needle too far north. Buried Ruin is going to come in at a dollar six. Crib Swap comes in at 23 cents. And Tempered Steel will get us over the 220 mark. And Pure Steel Paladin will come in at $10.19, setting up a $230.90 mark before we open the very last product. All right, and it all comes down to this. And based on what could be in here, 
this really could be anyone's. Anyone could still claim victory over the gauntlet. And I do want to take a moment before we crack open this Double Masters box topper. I want to thank everyone for their participation. This was the most fun I have had doing a series on the channel in the channel's two plus year history. I enjoyed this endeavor like none other. I had more fun and more entertainment putting this together than anything else. And I thank the community for that. All right, here we go. We have a one double masters box topper two box toppers inside one will be standing as victor over the gauntlet who will it be we've got two box toppers and we gotta price them both folks here we go all right the first box topper is toxic deluge okay that is a pretty come on camera get in the game here there we go. One Toxic Deluge, and hiding behind that is one Sneak Attack. So we have a Sneak Attack and a Toxic Deluge. All right, from bottom to top, folks. Sneak Attack comes in at $22.58, putting us up to two fifty-three forty-eight, dollars and one card left. And the Toxic Deluge will bring the grand total up to 287.19. Who is left standing? Who will claim victory over the gauntlet? And there is your gauntlet champion. Congratulations, you and every participant that made it through the gauntlet or even faltered at any point during the gauntlet. You all did a great job. I appreciate all of the work put through. Like I said, this was a fantastically entertaining and fun endeavor. And I haven't had more fun on any point during the channel's existence. So thank you to the MTG Burgeoning community. Congratulations to our first gauntlet victory. Great job. This is MTG Burgeoning, your channel for Magic Rewards.